Alrighty, we've had a two hour turnaround and we're heading back out. <laughs> There's a few broken faces, but we've got three more days of good weather, so we're making the most of it. Another week going to an island. So, the turtle thing I want to talk about that quickly. There in this area, it's only been really recently sea lions coming out here. And I called up the wildlife fisheries and told them what had happened. And they just called me back and said that they'd had 20 turtles that have rocked up on the beach with their necks uh, eaten into and killed. And it's been a real recent thing. So they're looking at, they want the footage. They were very eager to get it. No one had filmed it. And um, they're looking at relocating all these sea lions. Well, there's only, we only seen one, but apparently there's a couple around the island. So that's pretty cool. But um, we're heading north of where we were last time. Uh, we're about halfway across there now. And um, yeah, excited. Another week on the boat, exploring new places. Doesn't get much better. But we'll keep going across the channel here. And we'll meet you when we get to camp. Big manta ray just chilling on the top. <laughs> wow. All right, so we found camp for the night. It's a bit of a bit of a sand cave, but it still connects to land. They just drop an anchor over there somewhere. We're going to set up our tents right here. It's very old school of us having a generator, isn't it? This is an adventure. <laughs> this is an adventure. Jake? Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> okay, just woken up and we're leaving camp and we're heading out to the tip of this island. We're going to fish out here for most probably snapper. Another crack of night's sleep in this beautiful bay that we're in. Perfect anchorage, probably the best anchorage we've had on the whole trip. Um, and there's been too many flies or mosquitoes, so it's been great. Going fishing now. And I might have a little dive today, have a look for some crave too. 
<laughs> they all hate me diving. But I'm getting into it. I'm becoming a full Spiro. Uh, radio, I'm going to start heading out there. Jellyfish. They look like they'd hurt. Yeah, you're on. Oh. Yeah, you got it still. Snapper? I don't know. It looks a bit red. Snapper. <gasps> Rick, help me. Yeah, take it easy, take it easy. It. You won't. Right. You are the snapper queen. I wasn't even expecting that. That was a good fight, hey. Such a good fight. We're loving snapper. I'm so stoked. That's a sick fish. You. Come on. Pump and wind, my little friend. Oh, it's been giving me grief, eh? It's a good snapper, eh? Big spango. Big spango? Yeah. Wow. Holy hell. That's a big spango. Well, I think these are just one of the prettiest fish. And I love catching them. I think they're just such a cool species. Spangled Emperor. I was surprised this is the first one we've caught on this trip. I'm stoked on that. Look at the colours of it. Gorgeous. Beautiful. You're going back, little friend. Thanks for the fight. I think I might have got sharked on mine, but that's still going. Oh, that's a what? Big yellow. Is it? Yeah. I got it like a shark. Oh. oh, well done, teamwork makes the dream work. Well done, babe. Oh, I can't even lift it. 
Oh my god, Kathy. Come here. I can't lift it. You can. was chaotic. Ew. <laughs> that was incredible. Uh, the guy, uh, the other crew have already got a yellow, so that's why we're trying to get it back as quick as we can. But it swam off with yeah. a lot of energy. Yeah, it swam off. It was swimming fast. It doesn't get much better than that. That was unreal. Yeah, so good. <laughs> There ain't no muck around the yellow than these things. Oh, They're a bullet, aren't they, in the water? Sucker fish. Oh. The cobia. The cobia. Okay, well, Pete, get it in. Oh. Must be a shark here. Done catching them. I wanted to just get one in the boat. I lost two. Jealous. I was jealous of Steph. See that shark around the boat with the cove when it got close to? That was wicked. That's a big shark. Massive shark. Big. Look at big, Steph. Big. I haven't found anything to wear because my top has fish juice and this is too hot and it stinks. My God, that's a good shark, that one. That is a beauty. See, that's the one that was coming. That's it. I told you it was huge. That is massive. I don't know what type it is though. Bronzy? Oh, it's so big. Must be. For a bowl? It's huge. Did you just see that cobe swipe that lure? I'm going to hook this. Look at that cove. There's heaps of sharks. You got it? You got the cove here? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big shark. I'm going to have to let him go. Look at the size of these sharks and Kobe. Them Kobe's are huge. Drive the boat, let's follow it that way. This is what I do if I hook up a fish near a shark. He knows he's hooked now, so he's gonna swim away from that shark. Which direction? 
Just follow that line. Thought the cove was a lot bigger, but still good eating size. Pass me the gas. Yeah. Jack, I got a big yellow, and then now he's um got a cobia. Unreal, way efficient. Straight off the headland. Oh. I mean that's pretty red hot fishing. Catch a yellow fin, have a big shark come around the boat, and then get the cove off it. We've got a yellow fin in the other boat, so we'll be eating this one. Bagging up the fish. Hammerhead buddy harassing us. They do. The boat. Probably 80 k's of driving in the tinny. <laughs> We're about to get back to camp. Oh. Home sweet home. So if you're wondering, anyway, this is a solar mat by Tech, and that is plugged into that battery box back there. So that's been charging all day. It's on about 80% or something there. And so we charge our phones and everything. Or have fans, have the lights running. Works really well. The trooper. Hat. Big bugs just getting back now. I'll go out to see him. You beauty. Last bit. Right, oh, no. so last night we done a bit of panko crumb and egg, pretty basic. And then today we're just doing a coating mix. This one's cobia. Yesterday we had snapper. Thought pretty basic. With the coating mix, you don't need egg. Just roll it straight in the coating mix. I've never actually done it with egg, so I don't know if you're supposed to or not. And then with the panko, you just roll it in a bit of egg and then roll it in that. I like to do it with paper towels, it keeps it quite dry. Where's the go-to sauce? Right here. Oh, spicy cute. Spicy cute. Spicy cute. I'm not a big fan of the tartare, but sauce is crucial. Got the tartare. Put a bit of salt on there. And we're cooking down here because it's blowing its head off up there, so we have to cook something down. I left my shirt out last night and the bloody crabs ate it. Are you serious? It's my best shirt. Everyone ready for the long journey in? Yeah, not really. Looks pretty windy, but we're probably going to get smashed. I just feel like the other boat's coming out now we're getting long time. Good luck, Jacko. Oh, no.
That was f***ing brutal. Oh my god, I got so bounced on the way back then. Oh, stoked to be back. There's a big boat just coming in there. I come across the inside in the end. Oh, that was the hardest trip I've ever done in that thing. I'm rinsed. Oh, we did it, team. Yeah. We made it. We made it. Balls. 70 kilometers, 25 knot winds, two and a half hours. Absolute torture, but we'll be on land for a little while now. Hey, Bob, did you need to get the land? Yeah. <laughs>